Hello and welcome to our next video. Here we go. This is section 7.8. We're doing special products of binomials and this is video number one. So if you're in class today, I was talking about wedding planning and making a dance floor. So if you're in class, that hopefully rings a bell, but I'm not going to be going into that quite so much this time. Instead, we're going to just go straight into the sort of uh, shortcuts that we can do for perfect squares. So here we go. Here's our first little equation, and this is how we can sort of create a roadmap for ourselves. So here we go. We have a plus b, and all of that is squared. So this is what's called a perfect square trinomial. It'll be very fun. So now, after that, we can essentially turn this a plus b squared into two equations. Essentially, when we are squaring something, everything inside of that parentheses gets repeated however many times we have for our exponent. So for this particular situation, we have a plus b times a plus b. From there, we can do the FOIL method and actually do all this work. So let's start out our FOIL method with first term. So we have a squared. Then we're going to do our outside terms plus a b. Inside terms plus a b or b a. It doesn't matter how we write it just as long as it makes sense to us. And then last terms which is b times b or b squared. So if we now <coughs> simplify all of this we can get like terms together and we have a roadmap for ourselves. So we have a squared plus 2ab, that's what these two things are added together, that's what they become, plus b squared. So looking at this, I know what I need to do each time is create essentially this format for all of my or all of my questions. This first one, I'm going to just show you how it becomes this format and with FOIL, and then the second one, we're actually just going to put it straight into the roadmap. So here is our first problem that we're going to do. We have x plus 4, and that whole quantity is squared, and so that becomes x plus 4. If we were to write it out, we get x plus 4 times x plus 4. After that, we can do our FOIL method. So here's our first terms. We have x squared. We then have our outside terms, which are plus 4x. We have our inside terms, i. So we have plus 4x. And our last terms. We've done the FOIL methods. 4 times 4 is 16. After that, we can group our like terms. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 16. And if I go back and if I look at what we created before, if I can, I can now identify what the a was. The a for our original equation was, or the a in our original equation, we could say a was equal to x in this case. And in our original equation, we can also identify the b, which in this case is 4. So we have b was equal to 4. And if we were to put this now into our expanded polynomial, our expanded perfect square trinomial, you can see our a squared term. We can see our b squared term. So x squared and 4 squared is 16. And then we can see our 2ab term with the 8x. So 2ab is 2 times 4 times x, and that simplifies to 8x. So let's do this exact situation for our very last problem. So we're going to zoom in a little bit, and we're going to do our last problem. Here we go. We have 3x plus 2y, and that whole quantity squared. So let's identify our a. Here we go. There's a. It is 3x. We're going to also identify our b. b is equal to 2y. And we had that initial situation where we have a squared plus 2ab 
plus b squared is how we can solve this. So if I were to do all of that work, we end up having a squared, which is 3x, that quantity squared, plus 2 times 3x times 2y. And then the last little bit is we have b squared, which is 2y squared. Let's do a little bit of this math work. Let's do the simplification here. So 3x squared, that's really 9x squared. 2 times 3 times 2, we end up getting 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. And then we have x and a y. And then our last term, we have 2y squared. That simplifies to 4 y squared. So here is our final form. This is equal to this. However, right here, our answer, this 9x squared plus 12xy plus 4y squared, this is the expanded perfect square trinomial. Now we have one more version of this perfect square trinomial. And if you remember in class, we have one that is added. So we have the a plus b squared, and then we also have one that is subtracted. So here is our one that's subtracted. This is also a perfect square trinomial, but we're looking at a minus b situation. So if you notice, we have a subtraction sign here. All right, so there's that subtraction sign. Sorry, it sounded redundant. I had to fix the video, and it got all screwed up. So now let's actually rewrite this out. We have a minus b times a minus b. So if we were to start out and do the FOIL method, we have a times a, so that's our first term. a times a is a squared. Our second term is a times a negative b, or plus a negative, that's why I say negative b. a times a negative b gets us plus a negative a b. We have now our inside term, we have the same thing, plus a negative b times a, which is equal to plus negative a b. I can rearrange things just because it's multiplication. With multiplication, we can always rearrange. And then I have negative b times negative b, which ends up being positive. A negative times a negative gives us a positive. And b times b will get us b squared. So now let's simplify all this. We have a squared. Let's simplify this middle term. Negative a b plus a negative a b. That takes us further in the negative. So we have negative or plus a negative 2 a b. Or, now I'm going to rewrite this and saying plus, I'm going to say this is now a minus. And then we have our last term, b squared. So that's our roadmap that we are going to be using. Our first equation, we're going to FOIL it out and compare how it becomes a roadmap. And then the last one, we will just use a roadmap and see if it works. So here we go. x minus 5, that quantity squared. So we can rewrite this as x minus 5 times x minus 5. After that, we can do that FOIL method. So we have x times x, which is x squared. Then x times a negative 5, which is plus a negative 5x. We then have negative 5 times x, which is plus a negative 5x. And our last one's negative 5 times negative 5 is positive. 25. So combine like terms. There's our like terms. Negative 5x plus a negative 5x equals negative 10x. And then we have x squared, which is coming on down, and plus 25, which will come down. So let's now compare and see if this looks like what we were doing before. We have our original situation. We have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So if we identify what our a is in this situation, our a is our x. So x squared, yep, we got it. They identify, they parallel each other. Then our next one, our b is right here. We have a 5. Yep, 5 squared or negative 5 is 25. Awesome. And then 2ab, our two, we have to multiply. We have 2 and then we're going to multiply a, which is x, 2 times x times our b, which is 5, 2 times x times 5 equals 10x. And our last little thing, I see this 
no, minus sign and it's right there. So 10x is there and our minus sign is there. So yes, this all checks out, that's awesome. Let's do one last problem and actually just use our road map for this problem. Here we go, let's zoom it in a little bit so we can see it. Oops, maybe, there we go. So 4c minus 3d, that whole quantity is squared. So we have 4c minus 3d times 4c minus 3d. From there we can do that FOIL method, but we really don't have to. Let's just instead identify what the A term is and what the B term is. Our A term is 4c and our B term is 3d. So here we go, 3d, 4c. Okay, we're ignoring this minus sign because according to our template of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, we have that negative taken care of here. So let's just put this into our template. We're going to put a's in here. So we have 4c, all of that squared, minus 2 times 4c. Oops. Let's do this in the right color, 4c, times our b term, which is 3d, and last plus our b squared term, which is 3d squared. So 4c squared, that translates into 16c squared, negative, or 2 times 4 times 3, 4 times, or 2 times 4 is 8, times 3 is negative 24, negative 24, and then C, D. And our last little bit we have, and our last term we have 3, D, and that's squared, so that's really 9, D squared. So there we go, final answer, and it's in that A squared minus 2, A, B plus B squared form. Watch some Khan Academy videos if you continue to have questions on all of this, but I hope this helps.